Can you spot the main difference between these two birds? Many birds have look-alikes in another bird family, birds with almost the same color pattern. But each family of birds has its own unique bill style. Thus, bill shape is a major identification clue for identifying various types of birds. In this video, we'll compare the various bill shapes of perching birds. These are the birds most likely in backyards and bird feeders. This will allow beginning birders to get a jump start on bird identification. Think of the bill as a tool used to gain food. Each type of bill shape is best for picking up a certain kind of food. Let's start with the seed-eating birds. These have very short, broad-based, triangular, or cone-shaped bills. Some conical bills are surprisingly large and thick, like on this grosbeak. This allows them to eat larger seeds. But even on smaller seed-eating birds, like this junco, there's still a broad base to bill. Goldfinches, too, have this very short and broad based bill. This is a good time to talk about the meaning of a short bill. If we imagine a line from the tip of the bill to the base of the bill, and then flip the bill over, the tip would come to the middle of the head. That's a short bill. There are many birds with seed-eating bills that you may be familiar with. There are the bright finches, sparrows, buntings, towhees, and cardinals. This view gives a good idea of how big and round and pointed this bill is. The next bill is that of blackbirds. It also is fairly broad at the base, but comes to a sharp tip, you know how flat the forehead and bill are all in one. This ridge on the bill is called the culmin, where the left and right halves fuse together. Grackles tend to have a curved tip on the bill, but notice the long, flat forehead and straight bill for most of the length. This is a good time to talk about the description of a long bill. Again, from the tip of the bill to the base, if we flip it over, the bill is as long as the head. That's fairly long. Surprisingly, there are some bright colored birds in the blackbird family. Notice that long, sharp bill, flat, and the flat forehead. And the same for the orioles. Next are the thrushes. American robins have fairly long, straight, fairly stout bills with a blunt curved tip. They eat fruit and invertebrates. Other thrushes have smaller bills, but notice the blunt curved tip on the bill. And bluebirds have quite small bills, but again, notice the blunt tip. Thrashers have very long bills. They're fairly stout. Some of them are much longer than the head, and they are all curved down with a sharp tip. Thrashers thrash their bill side to side in the ground or leaf litter looking for seeds and invertebrates to eat. The Leconte's thrasher is found in sand flats with isolated bushes. And the mockingbird is in the same group. The bill is smaller and straighter than the other thrashers, but more curved and more sharply pointed than thrushes. Wrens have medium or long curved bills, but these are thin. They probe for insects in the bark or search in rock crevices with a slightly heavier bill. And now we come to birds with short, very pointed bills. These bills act as tweezers to pick insects from the foliage and branches of trees and bushes. The bills on some warblers are a little bit heavier than others, but it, then again, some are very fine and sharp pointed. Here's a common warbler across the United States. This bird is not a warbler, but look at that thin bill. It is thin and pointed for picking out insects. The long straight bill of the nuthatch is like a crowbar to pry insects from the bark and probe in crevices. Birds that are omnivores eat just about anything and have fairly blunt generic bills. These birds eat nuts, seeds, fruits, invertebrates. They may even eat nestlings and eggs of other birds, frogs, and small rodents. Ravens eat uh, human garbage, roadkill, rodents, and other items. Chickadees and titmice have blunt bills. They're fairly thick, stout, with a blunt tip. Their bills are suitable for pounding open nuts, eating seeds, grubs, and other invertebrates. Vireos have fairly uh, unique bills. They're, they're stout. The bill has a hooked tip. With these, they can eat uh, beetles and fruit, besides other smaller insects. We have now reached birds that catch flying insects. They have rather short bills, but very wide. Look how wide and flat the bill is on this flycatcher. It's almost triangular. The pale mouth linings on these nestling swallows show just how wide the mouth really is. But look at how short and tiny the bills 
are on swallows. When you look at a bird, make sure that you look carefully at the bill shape. This will make your identifications more certain. This video is part of a playlist on improving bird watching skills. Be sure to watch the other videos. The links are in the description. And thank you for watching, my friend.